What's going on Facebook? We are live, man. Uh, we're going to try to do this. I don't know what's going on with um with Facebook Live, but it's been kind of tripping today. But we're going to try to do this anyway. We're going to try to go ahead and knock this thing out, man. The question is, why are you so ungrateful? Why are you so ungrateful? Let me know if I'm freezing or if my screen's freezing up when you come in. When you come into the room, drop your favorite emoji. Let me know where you're watching from. I like the fact that we can all be from everywhere all over the world, but still land right here on this live and talk about some real issues. So... Let me know where you're watching from when you come into the room. Drop your favorite emoji. Uh, let me know how you're feeling today. Me, um, man, it was a hot day today here in Dallas. Crazy, like, I guess, what, 105? Crazy, you know what I'm saying? So I've I tried to beat that and stay out of that. When you come into the room, let me know where you're watching from. Uh, live is being kind of crazy, so I might not even be able to see you when you come into the room. So when you uh, stop in, drop your favorite emoji. Let me know where you're watching from. Uh, I'd like to know where all my viewers are checking in from. What's going on? What's happening with you? Say, so we out here just uh, talking about being ungrateful. Why are they so ungrateful? Why are people so ungrateful? I'm going to give it a little second to see uh, who comes into the room and give us some time for that number to jump. Some time for that number to jump, man. But like I always do, you know how I do. I hate to procrastinate and wait, so I treat my replay the same way I do the live. I'm going to give it to you straight. So we're going to get off into it. Why be so ungrateful, man? Basically, man... It's just crazy. Being ungrateful, man, takes you away from a lot of things that you want. Um, if somebody's doing something for you that benefits you, if somebody's doing, say you say you have a music career and you have somebody that's coming over and they're, they're critiquing your music for you, uh, telling you what's good, telling you what's uh, uh, like like my guy Ramona. He, I mean, they telling you what's working and what's not working for your music, and you're applying it and you're getting these nice reviews off of what you're applying from what this person has told you, but you never ever ever go and tell that person thank you. You know, if that doesn't go unnoticed, that goes noticed definitely. So if you're not thankful for the things that come around you, how long or how often do you think these things are going to continue to come around you and be in your circle or be in your square? What's going on, Shatira? What's happening, Christine? What's happening, Candace? We're talking about why are you so ungrateful? When things happen in your favor, why do you not show appreciation for them? And then you wonder why things never happen for you. You have to get overly excited for things that happen in your favor. You have to show that you are so grateful, so appreciative for the things that happen in your favor. That's, you need to remember that. Like me, myself, man, I'm so I'm grateful for the connections that I made. If I don't, if, if I don't show my, uh, my gratitude for the connections that I made, how many more connections will I make like this? How many more connections will I make with people who are social entrepreneurs that want to actually eradicate childhood malnutrition? If I don't show that I'm grateful for being around these type of people, for having these type of people in my life, these people will soon be out of my life. What's going on? I'm some appreciate you for checking in, bro. And when you come in, let me know where you're watching from. Like I said, I'm, I'm shooting to you live from Dallas. Uh, drop your favorite emoji. Um, like I said, let me know where you're watching from. Uh, let me get some likes and loves when you come in the room. Let me know that you're awake with me. But like I said, a lot of people are so ungrateful, so ungrateful. And that's the reason why a lot of things never show up in their life that they wish for. A lot of things that they want to happen for them never show up in, in their life. They're not grateful when things happen to them. When the, If you're not appreciative of your blessings, why do you think that you deserve the blessings? Why do you think you deserve blessings further into the future, into your future? If you're not grateful. I'm grateful for me being able to forgive myself for my past. For me being able to forgive myself and not carry that, that, that weight around on me. I'm able to speak freely in front of people and not feel as if I'm being judged or if, I'm, if, if some type of conviction is being passed. Because I, I, I've dealt with that. I've uh, forgiven myself. You know, that's as far as I can go. I've forgiven myself. I've, I've apologized to those that I've wronged in my past. So here I am now. And now I'm able to have great people come into my circle and great things come around me and, 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 and feel fulfilled in my life because I'm grateful for the things that I have. You know, I'm grateful for the opportunity to be able to speak to you guys. And me being grateful and showing that I'm, I'm, I'm appreciative to uh, be able to speak to you guys keeps bringing more and more people to me that I'm able to reach, people that I'm able to help, people that are looking for uh, some answers, some people that are looking for somebody like me who has been through what they're going through or what they've been through and just don't know how to express themselves now to just get it out of their systems and live life. You know, I'm, I, I want to be that beacon. I want that's that's what I want to be. So therefore, I have to be grateful for the things that I've gone through. Reason why, reason that being because it's going to bring more people around me that I can help. Let me get some likes. Let me get some loves. If you're in the room with me, uh, if you're just stepping in, let me know where you're watching from. I'd like to know where we all where we all from. So we, it's cool that we can all be right here, like I say, and uh, just kick it on the same live, you know. And we're talking about being grateful, man. I'm grateful to have this platform, you know. I'm grateful to have this platform to be able to speak to my people. What's happening, Mashika? 
I'm grateful to have this platform to be able to speak to my friends and, and, and let them know, man, things happen to you because you're being stretched. Things happen to you because you're being molded into a leader. People corral around you and want to be around you because you are a leader. Now, the type of people that you have around you are the things that you need to alter. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like, uh, leaders attract bad people, too. It's all about how you choose your crowd. It's all about who you put around you because the people that you lead are going to help you succeed in the same way. It's going to, help, going to help you grow also. It's an uncomfortable position to have to lead because everyone is dependent on you. But growth comes with being uncomfortable. So everyone has to depend on you. But you have to be grateful for those situations. You have to be grateful for those uncomfortable situations because you learn and you grow through those situations. And when you have someone else come around, you can help someone else grow and be prosperous by learning from what you've been through. See what you say, Shatara? Sometimes you have to be grateful for bad times too because you learn from them, of course. You learn from the bad times. Like, how, how, how could you ever go teach? How could I tell my son anything about life if I've met, if, if, if I've failed to even pay attention to the things that I've gone through? You know, how can, if I'm not grateful, if I don't, if I don't see what has really come out of everything that I went through? And a lot of people say, do you wish you could do it all over again? Actually, I don't. I don't. I've never been able to receive so much the joy, the type of joy that I feel when I'm able to help people now. So everything that I went through, if it was for me to be able to get here and see the uh, the, the looks on people's faces, uh, the comments that I get, the the people in my inbox telling me that I've helped them today. Man, that's, that's deeper. That's realer to me. And I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful to know that I hold some type of value in the lives of the people that I speak to. And you should, you should too. You should feel that way. Be grateful for your relationships, your good relationships. You'll have more of them. You're wondering why you don't have success. You're not grateful. You have to show that you are worthy of your blessings. Nobody's passing out any blessings to someone who's not worthy of them. If you're not, I'm telling you, if you're not passing that and sharing that, you, that's, that's the, the, highest, the highest way to show your gratitude for a blessing or a gift is to share it. The highest way to show you're thankful for a gift or a talent that you've received is to share it. If you have a talent, if you can sing and you're hiding and keeping it tucked away, you're not showing that you're, how thankful you are for that talent. You're not sharing it. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like Shay, she has a, a passion for creating some of the most awesome uh, desserts and treats. You, and, but she shares it with the people. So the joy on their faces, they all corral, they, they all corral through her Facebook page and talk about uh, things together. She's creating a community. You understand what I'm saying? So you create a community of people who understand each other and gratitude and showing that you're thankful for the type of uh, the, the type of value that they add to your life is going to bring more and more and more and more people like that around you. I'm, I'm learning this because I see that it's really huge uh, and effective in building your business. When you're building your business, show that you're grateful. Be grateful for those good days, those really, really, really good days, those good sales days that you have. Or they won't never, they'll never come back around again. Be grateful for your bad ones because you learn what to do and what not to do. You learn that maybe you shouldn't be open as late on Tuesday as you, as you are. You learn. So be grateful for those days or you'll never get those lessons again. Those lessons won't come around. Those lessons are there for a reason. We take those in, we learn, we grow from them. Put in an uncomfortable situation in order to, to be able to grow from those situations. That's life. You know, some people like to take the easy route and not live life. So therefore, they, they prefer to be comfortable. That's not living life. Life is not comfortable. I'm sorry, it's not. Life is about growing. And I know you remember, you all heard it, growing pains. What do you think that means? Growing pains. That, that means you're being stretched. You're being uh, molded into a person. Uh, uh, your character is being molded. You're, you, you have to be stretched. You understand what I'm saying? So those are your growing pains. We all go through them. But be grateful for your growing pains. Be grateful for the people who are, who are in your life. Be grateful for the people who will come into your life. Let me get some likes. Let me get some loves. Let me know y'all awake in the room. I um, know some of y'all probably stuffing your faces in the evening. But um, yeah, be grateful. Be grateful for your haters because they point out the ones that love you the most. They help you identify the ones that love you the most. They help you find that love. Be grateful for them, man. Be grateful for opportunities to start a second business when, you're, when your job is tanking. When your job is not cutting it, when your job is not paying the bills, you check to check. Be grateful that there's something else out there that you can do to get by, something else out there that you can grow from. Always remember, man, someone is needing your energy. Someone uses your energy. You understand what I'm saying? So you, what you're attracting to, you, someone else is needing that too. We are all connected to each other. We're all connected to each other. Someone's watching you. You're, you're teaching right now. Do you understand what I'm saying? So be grateful. Always be grateful. I want my kids to understand to be hey, be thankful for what you have. Or, or one day you might not have anything. And then you'll be reflecting on the things that you had. 
And then you be one of those people that always talks about what they had. Oh, I remember this. I don't don't be one of those people. Be one of those people that are, that live in the now. You want to live in the now, so be grateful for everything that you've been given. Be grateful for everything that you have. That's that's key. I know I said grateful like a thousand times, but I'm trying to pound it into your mind, into your brain that hey man, this is this is it. I had to give this one today because um, I put a post up today, and I just wanted everybody to tag that tag that person that they can count on. Let them know that hey, thank you. Because there's going to be many more times that you're going to need people that you can count on. But if you've never shown that you're grateful for the ones that have shown up in your life, then there will be, there will be no more. So, make sure you show that gratitude. Try to love each other a little more. Yeah, I said it. Try to love each other a little more. Even if it's hard, tough love, do it. Let's make it happen, man. But stay happy, stay healthy, and stay humble. Tonight is going to be a good one. Make sure that you... Uh, Get your manifesting jumping tonight and make sure you get your meditation jumping tonight. Um, tomorrow's going to be awesome. All right. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay humble. Peace.